the rescue team are struggling to move a pair of orangutans who could be killed for disrupting the livelihoods of the local people. If they're about to start a family, it's important the couple are rescued together, and tranquilizing them is the only way to move them safely. Everyone's hoping that when Miko darts the female, it doesn't frighten her partner off. She's at least 60 feet away, and he's got to hit her arms or legs if possible. It may only be a tranquilizer, but a needle in her chest could damage her vital organs and kill. And it's good. She's soon fast asleep, and her partner seems reluctant to leave, which is great news. The team can clear the area and sling a net to catch the female when she falls. But there's another problem. She's fast asleep, but won't let go. If the tranquilizer wears off before she falls, she'll be off. There's only one thing for it. Someone's going to have to go up there and get her. Everything's resting on Leo. He'll soon be 60 feet up a vertical trunk with no ropes and hours from the nearest hospital. The male orangutan is also watching and could see Leo as a rival to be chased out of the trees. The net will break an orangutan's fall, but Leo could be killed. Her grip's so strong that shaking the tree won't budge her. Leo has to climb even higher. Holding on with one hand, he prizes the female's fingers from the branch one by one. It looks harsh, but it's vital the team get these orangutans out of here. The net has cushioned the fall, and when Miko from the medical team moves in, he finds the reason she could have been killed for being here. This is... It's rubber. It eats the rubber? Yeah, it's rubber here. Yeah. 